Okay, so we're off now to quickly drop Alexander for school. Alexander, say hi. Hello. A bit louder. Hello. And then we're going to go and see Mr. Shane Benzi down in Goring. Goring on Thames, a movement specialist for session number two. We are here at the pavilion. This is the old famous pavilion ground that Mr. Benzie does his work. You can uh, see it nicely. But he's just with a client now, so yeah, here it is. So that foot contact. Um, yeah, the tripod landing, and that's flat. Spot on, absolutely, on the soft knee. Because I, yeah. Really good, very good and, indeed. And interesting, since I've been doing that, I've noticed I've not had any issues with um, Morton's and you know, okay. at the front. Yeah, there's yeah, been, yeah, yeah. There's been so, some less stress yeah, yeah. Off, uh, off the front of the foot. Definitely, yeah, you're basically landing the foot so that that dome effect of the foot works. Yeah, I wasn't everything. actually thinking about that then, I was no. thinking about up. It's becomes it's just become second nature. Absolutely spot on. Very good indeed. Soft knee. Very nice. Nice posture. Yeah, I mean you have good posture as a as a person, but nice posture. Eye head up eye line on the horizon. Really, really nice. Very, very good indeed. Textbook stuff. Now, as you soften, you're loading, 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 and then you spring soften off the again. Yeah, you just so you don't have to think about it yeah. you're doing it perfectly because so, whenever i've seen that position i always think that doesn't look quite right mm. that sort of drop in the hips but i guess that's just it your is. body yeah. yeah so you land bang yeah. now you've created the elastic energy now you drop as you load 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 it's almost like a spring look you yeah land bang load 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 spring okay, yeah, play with maybe looking at how we can use it as gears because you can actually use lean different levels of lean to create speed. A very symbiotic relationship between bone, muscle and fascia. One needs the other, they all need each other. But if you, and the idea is to get that height and equilibrium into the body. Well, let's just say you do a lot of hamstring stretches yeah. and your hamstrings start to get very long. Yeah. You can potentially compromise the sea of tension of your body because yeah. everything needs equilibrium. So if you start to get long muscles, yeah. you potentially... Tighten quads or...? Yeah, well, yeah. Every, every action has, a, has, has yeah, an yeah. opposite. A reaction, yeah. Plus, so your sea of tension could start to go and the antagonist muscle to the one that you're stretching could get tight. Yeah. But also, if you take a muscle and you make that muscle longer, than it's designed to be. Yeah. It loses its elasticity and dynamic. From a movement point of view, from the last session, amazing. Really, really good progress. Everything's getting more fluid. You're getting that air. You're getting those feet circling underneath you. Getting that tripod landing. Posture, head, all really, really good. Big things to think about from today is that interaction with the foot. Yeah. But as it's leaving the ground, that's so super, super important. Everybody talks about how it lands, yeah. and of course that is important. But a lot of your progress is going to be based on your ability to get yourself in the air with a forward trajectory in the air. So leaving from that kind of tripod within the tripod yeah. is going to allow you to get more stability on that push-off. And if it's that little bit earlier in the stride, then it's going to get those glutes doing the work yeah. rather than the kind of muscles on the posterior chain. So it's a much more efficient way to do it. Okay, cool. So same as before, lots of practice really think about it be cognitive about it um, and uh, just remember it's it's your software you're changing it's not a muscle memory thing yeah. here you're just rewriting your software so the more cognitive you can be about it the better it's going to be cool uh, okay some cool. great feedback from shane um, looks like i've got to work on 
getting some more air, some more oscillation in my stride. But all in all, it was, um, yeah, it was a good, really good session. He, the guy is just a fountain of knowledge. He's, uh, yeah, he could chat for ages about training, running, obviously, um, and all the, all, the, uh, all the amazing people that he's seen and, and trained. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, stay there for a long time. But in all, all in all, to summarize, it's, it's uh, pretty hard to change your to change your running gait um, but it's about getting the, the appropriate perception of your brain to think about where everything is where your foot is landing and how it's landing where you're coming off and how um, and then obviously going right from the top your head keeping your head back keeping a nice big bow in the chest loosey goosey shoulders in the arms but they are moving forward and back and just using your whole body together to use that fascia. Um, he talks about it a lot, and you'll see. Anyway, I will conclude this later.